Yeah, that's right, Courtney. It feels like an intervention, to say the least, as we welcome Joshua and Ryan to the program, the minimalists. Yes. Uh, I don't know why meeting with minimalists is making me so nervous, guys. But <laughs> well, what's the deal here? I, I've heard rumors that you both uh, underwent quite a significant lifestyle adjustment. Yeah, I think we spent most of our 20s sort of climbing the corporate ladder, living the American dream. And we found out all the things that were supposed to make us happy didn't actually make us happy. In fact, the, all the stuff brought us the opposite of happiness, like debt and stress and discontent. And it got to the point where we just didn't know what was important anymore. So we decided to get rid of all of the superfluous stuff in our life so we could figure out what was important. Okay, so how did this actually happen? You've, you've got the, the beautiful home, the fancy mm. cars. Uh, you reach this aha moment, right. as people say, and then what? Yeah, uh, so for me, it was, um, <clears throat> jo Josh had showed me minimalism. I was the same way. If you told my 18-year-old self what my 28-year-old self was gonna have, I would have been ecstatic. Um, but uh, you know, I found the same thing, stress, debt, and all that. So Josh said, hey, check out this minimalist stuff. And uh, we came up with this idea of a packing party. So that was the start of it for me. Okay. And the idea of it was this. I literally packed up everything in my 2,000 square foot hon uh, condo, uh, three bedrooms, two baths, nice big two-car garage, and um, to make a long story short, unpack things day by day as I needed it, and I uh -huh. did this for three weeks. And at the end of the experiment, I had about 75% left in my boxes. And this was kind of, you know, when I started uh, having that shift in thinking. So this is why you brought the boxes up here right now. You want to, <laughs> you want to have a packing party at my desk, right? Okay, you know. well, you know what? I mean, you guys are the experts. You're, you're living what you're talking about. You're, you're walking the walk, as they say. So, mm. so here you go. I'm ready to grant you access to my space now. I have to say, there's only one caveat. This is my creative space, so right. it might okay, look right. a little chaotic, but there's method behind the madness. You know, here's what I would say. If it stresses you out, as it did with me, I had a lot of stuff that really stressed me out, felt like it was in the way. If that was the case with you, it seems to me, it seems to me that that's not the case because you were really, uh, it, you use this as a creative space. But if it did stress you out, I would say, you know, a packing party just for a desk or one room in your house works out really well because you can literally just throw all your stuff in there and then unpack it, what you find value in. You know what, I, I mean, I gotta be honest, I'll, I'll be honest, I'll be vulnerable uh -huh. here for a second. I mean, here's one example, okay? Uh -huh. You talk about this, putting things in a box that you don't uh -huh. need. I do not need that many pens. <laughs> right. I'll guarantee you that. Uh -huh. I mean, I'd probably be okay with like, you know, maybe a Sharpie and maybe a nice one to sign birthday cards. That's right. probably all I really need. There you yeah, go. Yeah, absolutely, okay, that's so a great place to start. Okay, so all this goes into the box? Yeah, yeah this, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, I, you know, I feel like I'd be a little bit cooperative here. I'm not, I'm not digging my heels. Way to go. Yes. Okay, what do you, you guys are the experts, the outside set of eyes. What do you identify here that's superfluous, ridiculous? For me, it's the pictures. Uh, uh, so this is what I would do with the I pictures. I was afraid you'd say that. But, but it's, it's okay because they're beautiful pictures. Look at all those beautiful pictures. But this is what I would do with them. I would scan them and put them in a digital picture frame. Uh, that way, it makes it more interactive too. You put it on your desk, someone sees it. Oh, is that is that a picture from you know when you were at the beach or whatever? And uh, it's, it makes it more conversational. It makes it uh, you know more. Um, uh, more where people can see it and get value from it. And then, you know, on top of it, you don't have, you know, the clutter, so. And, you know, and, and I gotta be honest, with, with every passing month, my workspace gets smaller and smaller and, and smaller. <laughs> you must have had the same experience, but the problem for uh -huh. me, you talk about your packing party, uh -huh. my sentiment comes into uh -huh. it, my attachment. I think, mm. you, know, you know what I mean? I mean, all these things, like all of these items up here tell a story, how would I forget my day with the St. Albert Fire Department or throwing out the first mm -hmm. pitch at the Edmonton Capitals game. Yeah. You guys are probably just rolling your eyes at all this. No, no, actually, <laughs> I, I never judge, I just identify, because mm. if the stuff adds value to your life, I say hold on to it. If you really find value in it, and sometimes it, t it takes something drastic like a packing party to figure out, okay, what do I really get joy from? What do I get value from? And then keeping that stuff and getting rid of the stuff you don't really find value but in. But you have to demand honesty with yourself when you define value, don't you? Absolutely. Because I assign value to things that really have no, I mean, geez, gosh, uh, don't even get me started on the hockey memorabilia. Uh, Ryan and Joshua are making themselves available to you, and here's the deal. It's free. There's a talk tomorrow night. You guys are going to be at the West Edmonton Mall chapters, mm -hmm. and you're going to be that second and third set of eyes for people that need a bit of an intervention. Yeah. <laughs> we're do, actually, we're not willing to do it. We're not trying to do interventions. We're going to show up. We're going to just talk to people, tell people our whole story, and answer a ton of questions. I love it. The yeah. minimalists. This is such a great initiative. I'll make a commitment to you guys. I'm going to clean up my act a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Baby steps. Uh, All the information right. on the minimalists, including the link to their website on ours, breakfasttelevision.ca. The inside BT link is what you want. We'll be back with news, traffic, and weather right after this.